Hey, Jeannie here with Rooted in Love Urban Homestead. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit today. We're going to talk about how to make um, a cinnamon tincture and we're going to actually make it together so you'll know how it's very easy. Anybody can do it. Uh, before we get started though, before you start taking any herb uh, medicinally, you need to check with your healthcare provider because uh, herbs are medicine and if you're taking them as medicine, then you need to make sure that it doesn't interact with any medication you may be on and you can just be monitored. So just wanted to put that out there if you're planning on using this tincture uh, to help lower your blood sugar, which it's great for. Um, also, it uh, for respiratory health, it soothes and warms uh, it warms the chest, it soothes a sore throat, and uh, cinnamon just tastes great in a lot of things. So let's get started making this tincture, it's really easy. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some, I choose cinnamon bark. Now you can use uh, cinnamon sticks if you want, but you need to crush them uh, so they're more of the surface of the cinnamon gets in and is able to the alcohol is able to penetrate that. But you can see cinnamon bark here. Um, it's ideal for this, for tinctures, uh, because it's already kind of crushed up. And so I use uh, a scale. I use a kitchen scale. They're not very expensive, and it's well worth getting a kitchen scale so you can measure. You want to make sure that uh, your kitchen scale is tuned to ounces for this particular recipe and you want to zero out your scale. So what that means is you put whatever container you're going to use on your scale, then you turn it on and it zeroes it out, meaning that the container is not weighed into the ounces that you're going to put in. So we need two to four ounces, and this is a pretty large um, container, and so I'm just going to make a mess. No, I'm just going to pour this in until we get to, let me see what two ounces looks like, and then I'll decide whether I want to, to add more. I may only do two ounces. Almost. So that's two ounces. You can see I made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Um, life is messy. So this is two ounces. And the reason you want to measure as opposed to just kind of eyeballing is it makes a difference, especially if you're going to take it for um, herbal medication remedies, then you want to be sure exactly the dosing. So if you feel like it's not working, you can adjust the dosing. Uh, if you feel like it's you're having some side effects and maybe you want to pull the dosing back. So it's really good just to measure and know what, what you're doing. All right, so we have two ounces of the dry material. And then um, for heavy things like cinnamon bark, um, I like to use the Everclear. It's 190 proof, but if you have 80 proof vodka or 100 proof vodka, you can use that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Everclear. And then what you want to do is you want to cover your chips. Now I would, I'm going to let this hang out and tincture for quite some time. So I'm going to fill my jar all the way up to just leaving a, about an inch or two in there. Oh, that's handy. That's all I had. Empty that bottle. Um, then what you want to do is you want to seal the jar. And I love using glass mason jars for this because uh, I sterilize them first, wash them, uh, because the lids are tight and they're easy to do. So then you just shake it up. So after you shake it up, you're gonna wanna place your jar in a sunny window for 48 hours. Place it in a sunny window for 48 hours. And then you're going to want to move this to a cabinet, or I, use, I have a kitchen cabinet dedicated for my tinctures. Um, and so you're going to want to move it to a place that doesn't get sun. Just kind of a dark place, cool place, not any place real warm. And then you're going to want to let it sit 
for six to eight weeks. So it takes a while, but it's worth it. Um, you can buy cinnamon pills uh, if you want to uh, that already have the cinnamon in it if you want to take it for like lowering your blood sugar or something like that. Um, but this way, you know exactly what's in it. And this is also a lot less expensive to do it this way. So again, window seal for 48 hours. After that, you take it and put it in a cabinet for six to eight weeks. Now, it's also very important that you label your tincture. You need to put the date that you made it and what it is. Because if you're doing a lot, or if you're like me, you get busy and you're like, now when did I make that tincture? Um, and so it's already on there. So through the magic of the camera, I already have one that I have done and it has been seeping for a long time. I kind of forgot about it. It's been several months that this is about three months. Um, and so you see here where I labeled it, said cinnamon tincture, I put the date and I actually put the time on there just so I'd know when the 48 hours was up. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to strain it and then how to put it in a medicine bottle. And this is what you can put it in to keep it to do your dosing. And the dosing is one fourth to a half a teaspoon two times a day for five days. And then you take two days off and you repeat. Again, that's a fourth to a half a teaspoon two times a day for five days. Then you take two days off and then you repeat the cycle if you're using it for blood sugar until your blood sugar normalizes. Now, if you want to use it to help soothe a uh, sore throat or help kind of loosen gunk in your chest if you have a respiratory um, situation going on, then you can just drop this in some hot tea um, and or you can just take it and see, and see how it does. Uh, but again, that'll be depending on your symptoms and, and what you have. And of course, again, I want to say please check with your health care provider uh, if you're taking this for medication purposes. All right, so let me show you how to take the tincture that's been sitting and we're going to strain it and then we're going to bottle it. Okay. All right, so what I'm using, you can use anything you'd like, but what I'm using is a wide mouth jar, large jar, just so I'm not making a mess. Uh, if you have a bowl, you could do it into a bowl, um, but you're going to want to do it into something that helps you put it in something smaller. So I'm going to use a funnel, I funnel in, and then I have a little tiny uh, sieve, and I'm just going to put that in there. Then I'm going to open my old cinnamon tincture, and I shook it up, and it's a good sign that it's sealed. There we go. Look at that beautiful red color of the cinnamon. Mm, it smells so good. Okay. So now I'm just going to pour this in here. Now I want to be able to get all this out and let it sit, so I'm going to get a bowl to discard. So I want to make sure I get every good drop of this tincture out. So I'm going to tap that, make sure that it gets out, and then I'm just going to put the chips in here. And I'm going to do that again. Just like I said, because I don't want to leave any any goodness in there. If you want to press down the paper towel, you can. By the way, this will stain. See the color? Um, so it will, will stain your clothes or your, anything you're getting on there. So you just want to just be careful as you do it. I'm getting a few more drops out. I don't know if you can see the drops that are coming down. Like I said, I just want to make sure I get all of it out that I can. Um, if you wanted to use a cheesecloth, you could, but again, it stains. Um, so I just choose to do it this way because it's easy cleanup. But you don't have to have any special equipment. You could just do it however way suits you and for whatever equipment that you have. All right, the last.
last few little drops out. Okay, I'm just gonna put all that right there. All right, so here I have my little dropper bottle and I may have more. This is a four ounce bottle then, um, but that's okay. I have another bottle I can use. So, so you wanna put this in there now. And then you just pour it in. Like I said, you've already strained it, so it's just a matter of filling the bottle. And I am gonna to need to get another bottle to fill. I'll do that. And then you just put this on and there you have it. It's ready to go. You can use it as drops or again, the teaspoon. That's all there is to it. You can do it. So you see that it's very easy. It's easy to make tinctures. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. One thing you want to make sure you do is you need to label your container. You need to label what's in it cinnamon tincture. Tinctures are made with alcohol, cinnamon tincture. So that way you know uh, when you're looking through your medicinal medicine cabinet, then you know exactly what is there. Until next time, may all you do be rooted in love.